With CES happening last week, I always get excited for new VR equipment that is soon to come. There were lots of VR headsets and equipment, but nothing was really listed at a consumer price. I was also surprised to not see MetaQuest 3 when we've already been confirmed MetaQuest 3 from Mark Zuckerberg himself. Today, we're gonna talk about the Metaverse. Quest 2 is obviously one of the top selling VR headsets because of its standalone performance and coming in at a whopping price of $399 for the 128 gigabytes and $499 for the 256 gigabytes. It is definitely a better price point when the new MetaQuest Pro is coming in at a nearly $1,500. But coming in 2023 will be the next generation of standalone VR headset for Meta, and it's coming with the brand new Meta Quest 3. Not only affordable, but a new direction for VR itself. The Quest Pro, in my opinion, was a disappointment as it was not made for consumers. With that, we know that Meta has been doing a tons of investment into the metaverse and to cut down cost of building VR headsets. This comes confirmed by Mark Zuckerberg himself that the Quest 3 will cost between $300 to $500. That means that the Quest 3 is towards the consumer. Coming with this also came the CAD file leaks from Sadly X Bradley. This includes resolution size of 2063 and 2208 per eye, which is a 30% increase on what the Quest 2 has. We also know that Meta is going back to OLED, which is an amazing upgrade from the Quest 2 and is going to give us better vibrant colors and darker blacks. MetaQuest 2 and Qualcomm also partnered up and are making a brand new chipset for the VR headset and the project name is Holiday. With the leaks of this chipset, it also shows that this chip is going to be able to do double the graphical capabilities of the Quest 2. This includes 12 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of SSD store. This headset will even outperform the Meta Pro and its graphical abilities for only third of the price. Also included in the leaks is that the Meta is moving towards the pancake lenses which is going to outperform the quest 2 and is going towards what the quest pro has brought us this allows a better field of view and a better clarity also quest 3 will be coming with a charging dock or at least a charging dock you can buy which is better than just this traditional usb type c charger and i prefer a charging dock over that anyways sadly the quest 3 does have to have budget cuts quest 3 won't have eye or face tracking but this is to keep it at consumer price and until this technology becomes more consumer Consumer base, I can see even the Quest 4 having this as well. Sadly, with the leaks of what the Quest 3 looks like, I was disappointed to find out that the Quest 3 is going to be front heavy, which to me is a disappointment because for the Pico 4 and the Quest Pro, they put the battery pack to the back, which even the weight. And let's be optimistic that they redesign and hear the consumers wants. Quest 3 is also going to be able to do AR features, which is an amazing game changer when it comes to using the VR. Instead of just being games, we'll be able to do everyday tasks like being able to do meetings and conference virtually from work. I'm excited for the Quest 3, and I think the Quest 2 is at its life cycle. And we are all craving a consumer-based VR headset that isn't $1,000, like all the ones that were listed at CS this year. Tell me all your guys' thoughts and opinions, and what you're excited for for the Quest 3. Remember as always, guys, to dream big, game on, and peace out.